In this video is about photographing small birds in flight using Pro Capture. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how I photograph birds in flight using the Olympus EM1 Mark III and Pro Capture. So here I am attracting blue tits, great tits and robins to fly into sunflower hearts placed in a small plastic tray. So the birds are flying in regularly, but the problem that I have when I'm photographing is where they're actually going to fly in from. They could fly in from here, that side, behind the hide, to this side. So I don't know which angle or direction they're actually going to be flying into the food. So I can't actually get a shot in this situation where they're actually flying into the food. I can get a shot of they fly away. So when the bird lands there, flies away, I can actually lock onto it with Pro Capture Low and photograph it as it flies away. Because on Pro Capture Low, the autofocus should stay with the bird. The problem with photographing them as they're flying away from the food is that when they fly away they'll have a sunflower heart or something in their beak and it doesn't always make the best pictures so ideally you need to be photographing them as they're flying into the food the problem with that is that in this sort of situation where i don't know which angle or direction they're going to be coming from just really does not work with this sort of setup so in those sort of situations you have to change the setup and make sure that the birds can only fly in from one position using this setup it restricts the direction that the birds can fly into the feed I've got a clear plastic bird feeder here. I've got a bit of plywood that I've drilled, I've cut a hole out there and put the feeder through there. And the birds can only get to the feed by flying in from this way. The big advantage of that is that it cuts out the multiple directions that they can be flying into the food. The only way they can get to food is this way. If you pre-focus, about two or three inches in front of there you'll catch them as they fly into the food i can't claim to have invented this setup i got the idea from mike lane frps and if you want to see some very very good bird photography videos check out mike lane's uh, youtube channel they're all excellent the purpose of the wooden plywood around the feeder is to restrict the birds access to the seeds. They will try to access the sunflower hearts at the back of the feeder but I have taped over the holes so the only way they can access the sunflower hearts are by flying in the front. Now it's just a case of really getting in the hide, setting up there and waiting for the birds to fly in. The next couple of slow motion videos show how the birds will fly into the opening at the front. Using this setup, I can obtain a series of photographs as the birds fly in. So now I'm going to show a series of still images taken using this setup. Because continual autofocus will not work when using Pro Capture High, I have to manually focus about two or three inches in front of the feeder opening. I know that this is where the birds will be flying in because I am restricting their access to the seed. Continual autofocus will not work with Pro Capture High, so I have to place something to use as a focusing aid in front of the feeder opening and focus manually. I then go into the hide, I set the camera and lens up on a tripod and then manually focus on that. I know that when I have the correct focus, I then remove the focusing aid and I'm ready to photograph the birds as they fly in. I have covered the settings that I use for Pro Capture High on a separate video on photographing starlings in flight. But for those who have not seen that video, here is a short description of how I set it up on the menu in an Olympus EM1 Mark III. In the menu, I go to the cogwheel and I go down to C1. 
I select the high setting and this will bring up a box and here you select the bottom option which is Pro Cap. This opens up the Pro Cap settings. I set the maximum frames per second to 60 FPS because I want the maximum number of images as the action happens. I usually set the pre-shutter frames to 25 and the limit the number of frames it will totally take to 35. Because most of the action is going to happen before I fully depress the shutter, I want more images in the pre-shutter frames than in the total number of shutter frames taken. It's then just a case of selecting ProCap High in the Super Control Panel and you're ready to go. Using the setup I demonstrate here is by no means a foolproof way of getting shots of small birds in flight, but it certainly makes it a lot easier, particularly if you use an Olympus camera and Pro Capture. Even still, you will still get lots of shots where the bird is not quite pin sharp. Because I am shooting at the widest aperture of the lens, depth of field is quite narrow. I could stop down the aperture to obtain more depth of field, but then I will be sacrificing shutter speed. Shooting at the widest aperture also helps to throw the background well out of focus. You do need upwards of 3200 of a second, or even higher if you can get it, to stop a small fast flying bird in flight. Because every time you press the shutter button as the bird flies in, you're going to get a burst of 35 frames. At the end of a session, you will end up with hundreds of images to sort through, but hopefully you will have some really nice pin sharp images somewhere in amongst them. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.